What's up everybody? Tonight we're gonna be making a no need overnight crusty bread. So cheers and let's bake. To our bowl we'll add three cups of bread flour, two teaspoons of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of instant yeast. Stir together our dry ingredients. Now we will stir in one and a half cups of lukewarm water until we have a nice shaggy mess. That's looking good there. Just trying to make sure everything's wet. Got a nice shaggy mess of a ball here. We're good. We got our wet, messy ball of dough here. All we're gonna do is cover that with some plastic wrap, nice and tight. And that's it. Now I'm gonna let this sit overnight at room temperature, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Our dough sat overnight, it's nice and bubbly. We're gonna unwrap it. Flour my table. Now I'm just going to roll the dough out onto the table gently. The dough is on the table, so I'm going to take the bench scraper, just fold it over itself from either end. Flip that, just make that into a nice ball. Just like that. We're gonna take some parchment paper. I'm gonna put a little semolina flour. You could also use cornmeal for this. Just put that on the bottom. Take our dough ball right on top of there. I'm gonna just flour the top of that guy. We're gonna just gently cover that with a clean kitchen towel. Now I'm gonna let that sit for two more hours. I'm gonna start preheating my oven in one hour. It has been one hour, so now I'm going to preheat my oven to 420 degrees, and I'm going to heat up my Dutch oven in the oven while that heats up. All right, two hours is up, so we'll uncover it. And I'm just gonna put a little slice down the center. Use a really sharp knife or even a razor blade for this. Maybe do one on the side, both sides. Okay. Time to go in the oven. Now I got my Dutch oven that I let preheat while the oven was preheating. Pop that open. Pick up my parchment paper, drop my bread in, and my dough at this point. Okay, I'm gonna cover that back up and go in the oven for a half an hour. And then I'm gonna uncover it and cook it for another 15 minutes or until I get the golden brownness that I'm looking for. That's looking good. Just gonna pop it out and put it on a resting rack. And look at that. We got a beautiful loaf of bread here. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget, hit that like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.